from the Pro Rock House of Worship. And we are here today doing another episode of Comedy Confessions, and we're doing it COVID style on the Zoom. Yeah, that's right. Yes, we are. And today we have with us Mary Kennedy. Mary, tell us about yourself. Hi, John. Uh, I'm Mary Kennedy. Uh, I'm actually related to the Kennedy family. I'm third cousins, twice Ooh. removed. That's true. Third so, cousins, twice removed. Yeah, so it's all of the tragedy, none of the money. Oh. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I was on Shameless for uh, six episodes on, on season seven. I played New Fiona. New Fiona. Uh -huh. yes. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I love that show. I loved you being on it. It was great. Thank you. Great, great season. So, uh, yeah. uh, Mary, you're here today to confess a sin. Get something off your chest and let us I know am. what's going on. So, Mary, what's your sin? Well, let's talk about it. Because I, I, I do feel like I need to be absolved from it because I think it's going to affect my career the, the higher I move up in the world of comedy. So, <clears throat> here's my confession. Okay. When I was an altar server when I was 10, I used to crack jokes during communion which for the Catholics out there, they know that that is the most holiest part of the mass. And I used to crack jokes with my other altar servers and I used to make fun of people in the pews and the priests and the nuns. But you kept everybody a little entertained. I did, but is that the best place to do our comedy? I mean, really. <laughs> well, let's just think about this, right? Because comedy is all real life, right? right. You know, like, you know, you know, you see those videos on, on YouTube for the people that go crazy shopping and all this other stuff. So what better place to find comedy than in the Lord's house, right? I mean, think about this, right? Because yeah. people are there, they're bare, they're raw on it, they're, they're, they're letting it all out, right? So, you know, you're there to help them. You're here to make them feel good, right? So Well, they we couldn't all... hear me do the jokes. It was out of the side of my mouth. To yeah, my friend Anne Marie. But that means that you were smiling and your friends were laughing, so they looked like you were having a good time. So you're spreading the joy backwards. You see what I'm saying? You didn't even know it. You didn't even know you were doing the good deed. So I was doing the Lord's work? You were doing the Lord's work, just in a mysterious little way. That's all. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know if you're Catholic, but it wasn't uh, very satisfying. I mean, I'm not I'm not I'm not <laughs> Catholic. <laughs> And the host is not that not satisfying is a very polite way to put it. It's dry as shit. That's what it really is. <laughs> See, now I feel like I'm gonna go to hell. Like it's the Catholic guilt. I'm like, I yeah, should well, be talking we, about this. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure which is worse, the Catholic guilt or the Jewish guilt. You know, which which one of those two religions wanna pound you in for the money? That's yeah. really what it is. It's all about the money, you know. I, I'm surprised I'm not hated by more religious groups because of my openness in, in the world of talking about religion and you know we like our money i mean don't get me wrong you want to donate to the re to the reverend we're, you know, we're here to take it you know, no problem at all but you know you know we're just not going to beat it out of you you know that's the whole thing well send so, like, me a therapy bill uh, send, send you a, a therapy, therapy bill okay yeah, send me a therapy. yeah but but like like let me ask you this right were you doing the jokes because you wanted the attention or were you doing the jokes because that catholic priest was so boring that, you know, you just couldn't handle it anymore and you had to get it out there. I mean, seriously. I definitely think I wanted the attention for yeah. sure. But I do think, you know, I do think some parts of the mass need to be a little bit more exciting <laughs> to keep need, everybody's attention, the, right? The Catholics need to learn from them Southern Baptists, right? You know, whoa, yes. get out there, party, rock and roll, rock and yes. roll sermons, yeah. See, yeah. see here's I mean, they, the thing. Yes. Right right? Here's the thing. Sinning is breaking commands, right? That's really mm -hmm. what sin is, right? So we got to think about what command did you actually break? Well, because there, there isn't a commandment of thou shall not tell jokes. Right. There isn't no, I shall not tell jokes. There's nothing that says I shall not tell jokes in church. There isn't even a commandment that says I can't make fun of people. How about that one? Thou okay. shall not commit funny adult or funny, uh, I don't even know what to call the damn sin here. What would you call it? You know, like, thou shall not pick on other people, you know? Like, or, you know. or thou shall not commit mockery. Thou shall not commit mockery. Right. So are we going to create the 11th sin? How many, how many? 10 commandments, right? So we're going to be 11th commandment. The 11th commandment, yeah. The 11th commandment. Thou shall not create mockery. 
Nah, freak it. it would be, we wouldn't have jobs if we didn't have mockery. Come on now. <laughs> it's, but it's tough enough finding work in this time period, isn't it? I mean, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think I think my God wants me to be funny because listen, I've been a stand-up comic for 23 years. Yes. And this last year, I think this last year gives all comics like five years. <laughs> so <laughs> now I think I'm at 28 years of doing stand-up. So I, I think, and listen, if you if you believe that God created people in the likeness of ourself of himself or herself or the world self, whatever, then he's a pretty funny guy. Yeah, I think so too. I think that that you know they got it all dark and mysterious and quiet because that attracts more cash. Uh, you know, because we all know making comedy and making jokes don't make no money. But you know, yeah, I, I you know I think I think that the I think that that's why they're mysterious and dark. So I, I think you were actually there. I don't think it was a sin. I don't I don't have anything to absolve you. In. You know, like I don't I don't I don't think it was a sin. You were there doing the Lord's work in your way. You were your own minister. You were the comedy minister. You were the jokester. Yeah. Yeah. I and, like and, that. Hallelujah. You don't hear about too many female altar, altar. They don't call you altar boys, do they? No, they call us altar servers. This was. Altar servers. Oh. Yeah. My mom played in the church folk group. So I think I had an in. Oh. Um, and so, yeah. But we, there was a couple of female uh, altar servers. And it was kind of a progressive church because on Saturdays they had the church folk group, and instead of host, they had pita bread. So Ooh. they were a little bit more. They were ahead I, of their times. They stuff. were ahead of their time. So yeah. that was their seventies mass. So. so, so, so since I don't have any uh, sin to absolve you from, I'm trying to figure out like you know the fun part for me is like helping people relax themselves, right? So I think what we ought to do is you know like. I was an alt. It was called altar server. Altar server. I was an. Alt I was a funny altar server, and I am proud. How's you that? want me to say that? Yeah, can you do that? <laughs> I was a funny altar server, and I am proud. I was a funny altar server, and I am proud. My mama loved me, and oh, so did my congregation. My mama loved me, and so did my congregation. Yeah, that's good. I was an altar server, and I am proud. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, well, I hope you feel you. better with that, you know? I feel better. I yeah, feel, I mean, I feel better. You've been carrying that around a long time, you know? Yeah. I mean. Hallelujah. Tell us, Mary, where can we find you? Um, I, if you want to find me, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at M Kennedy Comedy. Uh, and you know, I'm, I've got some great stuff coming up. I'm, uh, actually doing a show on, well, the, I'm not going to say that show, um, because you probably are going to have that edited by then. Uh, but I'm headlining flappers in February. Uh, I've been doing a lot of shows with Broadway comedy club online and, uh, comedy therapy, in New Jersey. And, uh, you can catch my new film that I have out called Girl Calling. It was part of the Palm Springs International Film Festival. So check me out, guys. I would love to hear from you. Girl Calling, everybody. Check out Girl Calling. And uh, Mary, it was so much pleasure to have you on here. I hope you feel better, and uh, we'll, we hope to talk to you again soon. I feel, I will feel refreshed and renewed, John G. All right. <laughs> <laughs>